I'm going to talk a little bit about how the paintings are done. And in some ways, they are not necessarily painted, but they are built. And they are layered from background, from the back of the painting, working forward. Um, for example, on this middle area, there is a layer of white, a layer of light blue, several layers of dark blue, then of gray, and then they're sanded back down so I can get this effect. After that, um, the next thing that begins to happen is that the mountains, and particularly the lighter blue mountains, are, are painted in. And they're painted in by using, by cutting tape and getting a very straight edge. Using rollers, probably about three or four layers of rollers, pulling the tape off, and then trying to clear up some of the bleeding. And then the next layer would be this darker blue uh, mountain, the same way with white placed on and being pulled off with paper, then the darker. Every object that you see is from a template that I make and then put on the canvas and paint it over and the template pulled off and the edges cleaned up. So every little thing is done one at a time, even to the lines on the oars on the uh, kayaks. Everything has to be done uh, individually and it takes months to do. And this one is one of the longest ones that it really took, um, took me to do. I, I had finished the, the buildings at the bottom and I didn't know what to do after that, so I had to wait a bit to figure out uh, how to bring it all together. And suddenly there's a moment of insight that comes from, I don't know from where, uh, from something I've seen, something I've read, uh, something that happened in the news that I, I begin to bring it back in. The planes, the uh, animals, um, I use the internet to look for pictures and then draw the pictures and cut them out. I'll use anything to make things look as accurate as I can, uh, even from children's books.